I remember when I first became a Christian, I, I still remember my very first prayer. I, I said to God, whatever you do, don't let me lose my friends. Because to me, that was all that mattered to me back then was, you know, image, popularity, whatever else. But as I started studying the Bible, I realized, okay, following Jesus is going to be a lonely road. Um, and I also discovered that just by talking to my friends about him. And, and in scripture, it's so clear. It says there's this narrow road that leads to life and very few will find it. But then there's this broad and easy road that leads to destruction and, and many will enter through it. So if I want to be one of those few that find life, it's going to be difficult. And again, there's going to be very few of us. And in scripture, there's there's so many people that in different periods of time, they had to stand alone. Like Jeremiah, he had to stand against the whole city. God told him, look, no one's going to believe your message. You're going to be completely alone. And he did it. And so you realize, okay, that's what we're up against. And I think we have to, as Christians, have uh, an eternal perspective. We have to understand how short this life is. And that's easy for me because my background, my mom died giving birth to me. My dad remarried, and then my stepmom died when I was nine in a car accident. My dad got married again, and then when I was 12, he died of cancer. So by the time I was in high school, I understood, okay, this life is really short. I've got to focus on the next life. And, and it's hard to maintain that, that perspective because of the, the pressure. But one thing that really helps me is realizing that there will be no cowards in heaven. Revelation 21, when it talks about the end, it talks about the one who conquers will have this heritage. I will be his God, he will be my son. But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. It's so clear, I, I refuse to be a coward. I don't want to be listed there as one of those that wouldn't stand up for God because earlier he says there's going to come a day when it says God will dwell with them and he will be his people. They will be his people. God himself will be with them as their God and he'll wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Neither thou shall there be mourning nor crying nor pain anymore for the former things have passed away. And that's what I want. I want to be one of those conquerors, even if that means I stand alone, because I want to be with him forever.